Density News returning to back WSC5. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look today in our wonderful region of Sinopan, or Sinopian, or something like that. And uh, we're looking at the International Airport, which is now entering phase two of construction. As you can see, all of those little blue dots are the um, vehicles that are uh, filling up the airport. We are almost about to enter uh, phase two as soon as uh, uh, we have a few more oil trucks that need to uh, deliver their oil, but that is almost done. And uh, before we uh, finish the airport, let's take a look at what's occurring in Kazoo Pass. Some new um, uh, developments occurring there. Uh, they have uh, uh, Mayor Canoli has worked with Kazoo Pass's uh, uh, mayor to create a new uh, uh, industrial center uh, just on the uh, banks of that little river over there and uh, creating a new bridge as well. Um, again, Sim City with mods uh, with the extended 3K boundary has really pushed the limits. Uh, we have now boundless. We are now boundless in Sim City. Uh, we can uh, truly um, go where no Sim has gone before and uh, truly uh, create uh, cities uh, that uh, you know only the imagination can limit us now. Uh, which is such a great thing. Of course, the only other limiting factor, perhaps, is not getting a uh, correct uh, snap point or anything, uh, which still occurs um, in the game. Uh, you know, mods are slightly buggy, and the game has always been buggy. Um, however, these mods do work, and they work very well. Um, you know, some I've seen some news articles, you know, talking about how, you know, mods, they're not as good. I mean, they prove the maker's right that you could not have extended boundaries. And so, well, no, 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 no. That's not the case at all. It works. The things that are broken with the mods have always been broken in the game in general. So, um, you know, such as, uh, you know, losing uh, sims or things not plopping or, you know, buildings disappearing uh, with the worker shortage and things like that those have always been there those have always been problems so the mods um, for the most part they've made a broken game fun and they've made a broken game uh, truly reach its full potential and uh, that's what uh, this offline and uh, unbound video series is all about it's about breaking barriers and going beyond uh, what SimCity has, um, you know, uh, has uh, has been at. You know, this game uh, was very contained at the beginning. It basically was like, you know, open beta, you know, launched, you know, while the game was still in beta. I mean, that was pretty much the game um, when it was released. It's like they just did a few beta tests, like the closed beta tests that I participate in, where they're only t real beta testing, and, and they just got the game out, and there were so many bugs with it, and I had hoped, uh, uh, and I know I probably lost a, a lot of viewers, because I had promised a very uh, good series of Let's Plays with SimCity, but the game was just fundamentally broken. Besides, you couldn't even get on the servers half the time when the game originally came out. And so, you know, up until this point, there hasn't been much of a reason to get to the game. And once I started making Let's Play type videos, you know, either you had an audience or you didn't. But uh, with these videos, I've decided to come back, see and try and make a comeback and try and make some fun and entertaining videos once again. And I finally think I've uh, found my groove. Now, one thing to speak about about the Boundless mods, uh, again, this is the Extended tr uh, 3K Boundary mod that I am using. And as you notice that the mod, when you're working on perfectly flat terrain, it works like a dream. Everything's perfect. The problem is, is when you start to inc incur slopes. Um, sloping terrain uh, will result in this bug. Uh, where basically what's plopped just ends up below the terrain. So basically, it you know, what I just plopped, it's still there. It's just below the terrain. And we've always had glitches just like that glitch right there. I mean, that, that was part of the original game, for goodness sake. 
so um, uh, we're probably going to want to delete that and fix that up. Uh, but again, you can fix it. Uh, you know, that's the, the nice thing about these mods is you can fix it and uh, make it look a lot better. And that's what we're going to do here right now uh, once we get that bridge going. Okay, we're going to make a nice, a, a better connecting path for the bridge. Again, we're using Sty Storm's uh, uh, regional bridge. There we go, and perfect. You see now it's got the little um, trestles and everything, and it's now fully connected. So, in fact, we're going to do the same thing with this bridge, but it's uh, turned out to be quite ugly. So, let's delete that here. Let's delete that. Yep, there we go. It's deleting. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. I was worried the game might crash. And, and uh, it was, uh, the game was uh, freezing up there for a second. Again... Uh, when you are playing the uh, game with the extended boundaries, you do have a higher likelihood of the game crashing, but that's life. Um, you know, the game has always been glitchy, uh, even before the mods, but overall the game is not bad uh, with or without the mods. So again, we're going to try and connect this up. Like I said, we're going to try to connect it up. Well, might be that little incline there. I, again, there are some uh, subtle bugs with it. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem... Let's try that one more time here. Come on. Uh, nope, not working. All right, well, we can, uh, well, it's probably just that uh, sloped terrain right there. You can see how it looks like it's kind of like on a, a hill overpass type thing. We'll just take that out, and that will probably work once we try it again. Again... It, 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 it can work, you just have to practice at it a little time. Uh, again, if you haven't used mods, I do highly encourage you to go to Simtropolis. The link will be down in the description below there. Look at that perfect bridge. Yeah, I mean, the mods the mods make this game fun and playable. Without the mods, there's no point to playing this game. It, it just gets repetitive and old and... Uh, it's just a waste of, you know, you just waste your life away, you know, waiting for things to occur. And, and to me, that's not fun. I want to get in, build, admire the city, and not have to wait. And I know that's part of the game, you know, to wait and so forth. But, it, it, you know, when you have to wait five or, you know, five hours or more, you know, or have to win the game overnight, I mean, there's a problem with that. It, it, it's like, what am I doing this for? It, it loses the value of entertainment, joy, and fun when you just stick to it being just something of, uh, I'm just trying to do the stats. And let's face it, those stat boards in, in uh, multiplayer never were that good anyhow. So anyhow, I've really lost my personality in the uh, radio show. Again, I'm SimCity News. That's uh, how I'm going to be doing these. So again, we're putting in... Uh, uh, our garbage dump and all of our utilities. We're putting them back in after deleting all of them. You might have noticed uh, this part in my uh, past videos. So again, just uh, putting some of these in. They are completely outside of the city. Uh, one of the things you can do with the mod is uh, any, like the water, you get unlimited water um, basically outside of the territory. So that is very neat. Again, you do get some minor you know, graphical glitches from time to time, but, eh, no problem. You know, I used to be fidgety with the graphics, but then I said, ah, screw it. I'm just gonna have fun, and, and, you know, really, if you're not really focusing, like, making a, uh, video directly there, um, you know, you won't have, uh, that much of a, uh, issue with it. Again, uh, you know, one of the things when you're, uh, making, uh, you know, a game like this is you do get those road bug glitches and everything, but eh, you know, uh, after a while you just get used to it and, and, and you don't shred it. And if, again, like I said, if you move the camel, uh, camera to the correct angle, you're not even going to notice it. So it's not a problem at all. Again, this is Sim uh, City uh, offline mode with mods. Uh, single player mode, and this is the best mode. This is the true Sim City. This is sandbox at its best. Obviously, it doesn't have the full capabilities of the original Sim City franchise, um, which is a darn shame because um, the original franchise was very good. Um, but again, um, I mean, the only difference really is the only thing that Sim City uh, as going for it, SimCity 5 or SimCity 2013 is the uh, glass box engine with 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 the level 
of uh, detail with the models of the buildings. I mean, they look very nice, but other than being a very nice, uh, you know, 3D modeling uh, simulation, that's about it. You can't really create real cities. I mean, you, you get the idea. I mean, it's a nice, like, game for kids to play to learn about, you know, okay, you gotta maintain a budget, you know, you've got, you know, do, you know, fiddle with the taxes and so forth, but it's, you know, when they removed all the electrical things and just put everything in the streets and, you know, that, lo that, that lost a good element of it, but also the fact that you can't really make cities authentically like true cities. I mean, you can try it, but it's never going to have the, you're never going to get a uh, SimCity 5 type uh, city that you would get in SimCity 4 or in uh, SimCity uh, in, in the previous SimCity games. But uh, look at that bridge, the uh, new uh, uh, Kazoo River Bridge. Look at that, ain't she a beauty? And again, power's going through it, so not a problem. So, I gotta watch the power now as it uh, lights up everything. Take a moment there. And uh, I think I'm going to get back to character in just a moment. Again, there goes the power all the way to the region. Now we're waiting for it to go up. Here we go. Waiting for... There it goes. It is a little slow at times, but that's just when it's starting, so it has to catch up. Come on. Again, the, the red is power out, the yellow is powered. Orange is, means that there's some power connection issues. But we'll get there in a second. Again, it's, you know, it, it's moving up the slope, so it's moving a little slower. There we go, there's one. There we go, it's now across the bridge, and it, it'll get to those houses in a little bit, I think. Yeah, man. Yep, yeah, there it is, there it is little yellow line so again it's making its way down the road across the bridge all the way up the um, road okay we have enough power it's just getting it there it's just getting the uh, the uh, electricity to a uh, transfer uh, there we go they're starting to get powered now Yep, there we go. They're, they're powered for the most part. So there's some power issues with getting it balanced and everything, but but eh, that'll fix itself in a little bit. If I have to, I'll, I'll put in a second power plant. That might help uh, push the power through a little bit better. Alright, then there's the uh, highway over there. Anyway, what are we going to put here? We're going to put the mayor's house. Let's plop that in and uh, get that ready. Okay, I'm going to place everything and uh, I'll cut back, uh, make a cut, and uh, when it's finished, um, well, here it is, finished. <laughs> so, um, I didn't want to take the whole video uh, to uh, show me plopping everything, but there's the uh, governor's mansion, as I like to call it. I know it's the mayor's mansion, but the mayor already has a, a mansion of a house. So, um, you know, a high wealth sim. So, basically, this is the governor's mansion, that's what I'm calling it. So, uh, the governor of uh, this wonderful region. Okay, and you can see the uh, fairgrounds and the theme park uh, down below, as well as the cities nearby. Um, again, with the extended boundary, one of the issues is in certain parts of the map, depending, uh, you can only plop uh, things in two directions in the extended boundary. Uh, because basically what it does, it... it, it the extended 3k boundary basically stretches the existing map, basically. So uh, it it, um, it has a very funky mechanic. So part of the map on two sides you can't extend. So that was one of the sides where you can't uh, extend the the, uh, the buildings and everything outside of the uh, city boundary because it ju it's just a weird mechanic. Uh, that way, it, it, in Druid, it only it basically what the uh, 
To put it in layman's term, what the 3K boundary does, the mod, it basically just stretches the existing plot uh, in two directions for you to um, to build in only those two directions. And it's trying to find the, you know, and it depends on the map, um, which um, and region that you're using, depend, uh, you know, which you know direction you can uh, plop it, but it only goes in. Uh, uh, in uh, two directions uh, and in this particular uh, map uh, going um, facing uh, that direction and uh, facing um, uh, let's just call that south and call that um, east so if I'm going southeast on this map um, so going that direction I was just facing and now facing um, this direction Okay, facing that city, that is basically uh, where it plops. And again, there's the um, Kazoo River Bridge, a very beautiful um, suspension bridge, curved suspension bridge. There's our ships, and there's of course our wonderful city over there that we've made that I've made the last few videos on, which is now a huge, huge city. Uh, you definitely could not make a city like that to, within the borders. But anyhow, let's get to the news, shall we? You're watching SimCity News with Honey Quebec, WSC5. Alright, today we are bringing you the latest on the International Airport Great Work, which has just opened to Sims. Uh, the airport, which costs over $10,000 to construct, has now, finally, finally, after months on the making and after an unemployment crisis delaying its grand opening, it is now completely and totally constructed. Uh, right now we're going to play a clip of the airport, uh, well, while it was under construction. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is uh, just as the airport was uh, getting um, some of the uh, cranes in and everything. So as you can see, they're erecting the uh, cranes. Again, this is a uh, time-lapse footage of the uh, airport's construction. One thing you will notice is that the uh, city itself has gone beyond the boundaries to a point where the city is actually, um, the uh, Spooner Plains is actually um, partially within the uh, circle of the uh, great work. And it's functioning properly, it's just, well, creating kind of a graphical type uh, annoyance there. So, um, yeah, that's... Um, and I was kind of debating on whether I should delete this uh, little section or not um, while it was in construction. Again, you can see um, how uh, the uh, facilities for the great work have extended well into um, the boundaries of where the city is. So um, with the extended 3K boundary, you can pretty much build right into the great work site. Um, although that does give you kind of like a, a graphical kind of annoying thing it's kind of like your, your city's kind of like directly um as you can see the city's now you know directly going into the airport which is uh, not a not necessarily a good thing so uh, here we are 
over here in this little uh, area as you can see the uh, I'm scoping out um, you know the the one edge of the uh, airport is connecting so basically I'm just uh, you know deleting anything that's essentially within the boundary of the airport uh, you know, that includes deleting that road um, okay, and I'm trying to see which things I need to delete and uh, an amazing view I mean look at that city from space it, it's, it's, it's just amazing by the way the, the view is a mod um, there is a mod that uh, allows you to get the uh, vantage point increased so I've taken out that road again uh, continuing to build But this is really amazing. This is really quite something that we actually see the city quite literally approach on the airport. Again, you can see the uh, taxiways over there and their construction. And there in the distance is the city of Spooner. Ain't that amazing? Again, there's the boundary edge. And again, we're if you're looking, you could see the... Um, again, I'm looking for the aesthetic thing. And some of the buildings are going well into the uh, airport. In fact, they're on the runway right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete those. So, um, go go ahead and um, let's see here. How am I gonna do this? Um, let's see here again. I'll make sure I'm not uh, do something that's gonna cause a uh, crash. Oh, it's kind of disappearing, depending on the view. But you can kind of see like the lines and look at that freshly paved silver. Uh, Silver cement. Well, I'm guessing I'm definitely gonna have to remove the garbage dump. Now that is for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the garbage dump. Bulldoze that. Again, those little red lines, uh, it's, it's part of the mod. Because um, basically, those uh, roads um, were sticking. Um, and could not be bulldozed so what some uh, genius uh, modder did is he uh, uh, made them uh, bulldozable so when uh, the uh, buildings are deleted and that road stays you can actually delete the road now alrighty so how are we gonna do this okay I'm gonna make that road come in at a sharper angle now Not too sharp, but we still want to fit some buildings in there. And we're very close to the uh, limits on uh, how far you can place buildings. But uh, as you can see, pretty much, um, you know, we are, you know, beyond the boundary. Um, very much so. Alright, let's plop some of these so we can uh, help... Um, Make sure that our trash is taken care of. Don't really want to plop too many things there. And I'll just plop the um, garages here. There we go. Because I'm going to have to delete that too. There we go. I'll come back and now we're gonna draw that out a little bit more why don't we just connect it up there we can do that have a nice little service road going 
but I might as well extend it just a little bit more. Pop some landfills. And there we have it. And now it looks a lot more aesthetic. Um, and again, when I build SimCity, I, I tend to make it look as, as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Because uh, what's the point then? I mean, if, if it's not aesthetically nice, then what the heck's the point? I will have a little factory, medium density factories here. Just kind of to, um, you know, they're kind of like the warehouses on the edge of an airport. Yeah, I think we can, can we plop that? Yeah, we can plop that there. Um, let's see. How far can we? Oh, yep. See, there's the boundary right there. Where it stops, so that's basically how far we can can uh, plop everything. Um, let's see, is that? Oh, that's that's going into the street. Nope, don't want that. Nope, nope. Gotta go. Nope, not gonna work. Now we'll try and fit it over here on this this edge. Again, I would have liked to have put some houses over there, but it looks like we finally reached. Yep, there's the limit. So we can't plop anything uh, beyond beyond that point, that snap point. That just isn't going to go. Basically, we've, we've truly reached the limits of this game and how far you can plop. But just the fact that we can plop that far from the original borders without this game crashing and it working properly on a, you know, in a regular laptop um, with an uh, i5 core processor is just a testament to... Um, how, um, you know, how far Maxis could have gone with this game, but chose not to because uh, EA pushed them to uh, get the game out so quick. And, uh, you know, because they didn't give it the time that it really needed. I mean, if you're going to do a good product, you need to give it time. That, that is just a fundamental rule. That's a fundamental law. It's like baking a cake. You cannot bake a cake in one minute. It's going to take you some time and preparation. Okay, instant food is garbage. It's low quality. You could do it, but it's not going to be quality. And you're going to have to get rid of it, and it's not going to, you know, stick properly. And that's what SimCity 5 was. It was um, very nice. It's, you know, it's a marketer's dream. I mean, look at this nice, shiny product, but uh, it's you know, like a like one of those brand new cars, and uh, you see uh, at the auto show, and then you drive it off the lot, and it, you know, the... By the time you get to the stoplight, the mirror's falling off, the engine's smoking, and the thing's falling apart. Um, so, I mean, that, that's basically this game. It was a uh, showpiece, but nothing more. It, it, not really a uh, workable game. But the modders have done their best uh, to make it fun and to make it work. And uh, unpausing the game now, finally. And um, again, watching the garbage situation. Don't want uh, mass exodus is of the uh, Sims. Again, look at that construction. I mean, we can never get up this close before, and uh, you know, this is basically what the developers were saying, probably, because I believe someone said that uh, this view camera was uh, something that was internal in the game. Um, but yeah, look at that. Look at that construction go. Now, looking at these aircraft, now that we can see them up close, you know, in the trailers, the aircraft look, you know, super, you know, specked out and all cool. And, and look at these. The, these planes are, you can tell that, you know, look at the quality of these aircraft. They're garbage, really. I mean, uh, I mean, the, the image you got, um... You know, and granted, these were meant to be seen from far away, but you can can tell, and basically now construction is complete of the airport, cutting the ribbon, 
but uh, yeah, you can, you know, the, the, the quality of, of the, um, you know, th their quality of the graphics was not that, uh, not that good. So, but yeah, that's the International Airport up close. Not sure what that green flashing light is, that's kind of annoying. Oh, speaking of things that are annoying. Uh, is that okay? I mean, yeah, I mean, that one part's not that bad, but the, um... Mm, and I can live with the traffic there, but I probably can't live with that bus terminal. I'm going to go ahead and delete the bus terminal. Delete that road. Go on through the airport. Should I... Delete that little section there. See if I can't plop that in. No. on the other side of the city. Just bang some of these in. As best we can. Now for some reason one of them had Sweden Skystorms pack um, like adds uh, a larger number of these um, bus stops but uh, uh, with the ploppables for the buildings, but uh, you have to like uh, plop them on all of the roads, kind of, which I kind of, eh, I, I don't know about it. I'm kind of indifferent. Okay, let's plop a full, uh, a uh, little bus thing, and, and that's going to be about it, really. Let's take another look at the airport. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at there, so let me know what you think about the video. Um... You know, give it a thumbs up if you think it was good. Thumbs down if you didn't. Let me know what your, you know, what your thoughts are. Um, you know, leave a comment in the section below of what type of cities uh, you'd like to see me build. I'll probably start doing some of those in the future. Um, uh oh, that's not good. Yep, that is not good at all. Hold up here. Can't have be having that. I have to. Uh, that and that. And definitely delete all that entire thing. Okay, let's go ahead and delete that road. And get rid of these houses. Trim that down a little. There we go. And I, I guess we can leave the pro the uh, progressive energy thing, and I don't think that's a problem. But we will need to uh, add something for the coal to uh, keep our power plants happy. We'll just delete one of those. Come on. Come on. Did it not delete? There we go. That took a little longer than usual. Let's pop one of those bad boys in. There we go. Let's make sure we're getting uh, the uh, coal imported for our power plants. And pause it. Alrighty, and now that should do it. Now we've got it perfectly aesthetic. Uh, to uh, wrap up this video, watch some planes fly in and uh, such. So I'll leave it at that. Till next time, this is Tony for the Sim Sim Channel. Wishing you all a great day. I'll catch you guys next time. And I'll leave it as we uh, watch uh, the uh, international and municipal airports conduct their business. And uh, until next time, everyone, this is Tony. Wishing you all a great day. I'll catch you guys next time.